Hey everybody, this is Jason from CryptocurrencyBros.com. Wanted to make a video on how to store VeChain on your Ledger Nano S. And so let's go through the process of you buying VeChain. You know, you've been seeing it around, you really like the project, you want to buy it, but before buying you always want to make sure you can store it safely. And the best way to do that is to buy a hardware wallet such as Ledger Nano S. And so we want to figure out if we can store that on your Ledger. And so the first thing you want to do is go to etherscan.io slash tokens. And I'll put that link below in the, the description. <clears throat> so you can go here and you can view all the different ERC20 tokens that you uh, that are on the Ethereum network and you can go search for your V chain. So <clears throat> You can search here if it doesn't come up then you may want to do a little bit of research Maybe it's an ICO. Maybe it's not showing up here, but It most likely will if it is an ERC 20 token So now that we know that it is a v, uh, ERC 20 token, we know that we can store it on our Ledger Nano S. So let's get that started. Plug in your Ledger Nano S. Put in your PIN. Go to the, your Ethereum app. Open that up, and then if you click down, you're going to see an option to enable browser support. So click yes. The reason you need to do that is you're going to be using my Ether Wallet to view your funds, to send your different ERC20 tokens, to send your VeChain. Um, so make sure you get that enabled. Now, just to warn you, once you enable that, you're not gonna be able to use your Ethereum Chrome app to view and send your Ethereum. Now, this is easily reversible. You just click you know, back to browser support and click no, and then you'll be able to open that app but you just keep that in mind because you know you don't want to get there and you're like how the heck do I open up my ETH my ethereum app it's not working um, you know just go back there disable browser support and it will open right up um, but if you want to use my ether wallet you need to enable that and once you have that app open on your ethereum uh, I'm sorry on your ledger nano s then you can click this ledger wallet and then you can click connect to your ledger wallet. Once you hit this, there's going to be a list of different Ethereum addresses that your Ledger Nano S is holding. So the first one is probably the one you want to select. That's the one that you're using with the Ethereum Chrome app. So click on that one. Great, so now you should look you should be at a screen that looks pretty similar to this. This is showing your Ethereum address here, and this is the address that you're going to want to send your VeChain to. And what I recommend that you do, you know, if you've never done something like this before, is if you're on an exchange or, you know, wherever you might be where you're going to be sending your funds here, test things out small with like, like a $5 worth of VeChain or something like that. You know, send it to this address and see what happens. If it never shows up, then maybe you did something wrong. But if you did everything correctly, if you use this address, you should see these. You should see your V chain show up pretty quickly. Um, now, and that's kind of depending on the Ethereum network at the time. Maybe it's a little clogged up. You might need to wait a little longer. But for the most part, you should get it. You know, within the next ten minutes or so. Um, and to view all your different tokens, you don't even need to log into my Ether Wallet. All you really need to do is go to Etherscan, and on Etherscan, the the link's gonna be etherscan.io slash address slash, and then you put in your Ethereum address. Here, you're gonna be able to see your your Ethereum balance. Okay, this address doesn't have any Ethereum, but if it did, you'd see that number here, and then you'll also be able to see um, a tab here that says tokens. So you'll be able to see all the different token transfers here. And then there'll also be a drop down here that has like a little number of, you know, you have this many tokens in your wallet. And if you click on that, you'll see a little 
drop down of all the different tokens you have. You can click there and it'll take you to like the history of um, all those token transfers and show you the amount that you have in that token. So you'd see your VeChain here, you'd click on tokens, you'd be able to see the incoming um, transfer of your VeChain tokens here. And this is a really easy way um, to check your balances, to check um, you know how much of a certain cryptocurrency you have on that uh, Ethereum address. So you know maybe you just want to bookmark this so that you can uh, check to see if transactions are coming in quickly without logging in to your Ledger Nano S uh, through my Ether Wallet. So really, the main reason you you need my Ether Wallet is to send. You don't necessarily need it to receive, but you know this is a good spot to just double check that you ha have the correct address here. So a quick recap, number one thing you're going to do when you're deciding on storing VeChain is make sure it's a, an ERC20 token here, which we did. Then we're going to log into our MyEther wallet using your ledger, which we did, and you can see the address here. This is the address you're going to send your funds to. Start small, test things out. If it works out, great. Then send the rest of your balance, and then you can view your balance um, You'll be able to view it here or on EtherScan here. So, um, you know, this may be a good place to bookmark and for later. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Was it helpful? Uh, was it not? And, um, you know, hit the like button, help other people um, find this video. And, and until, until next time, this is Jason from Cryptocurrency Bros signing out.